How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video I'm going to be ranking the best Halloween arrival cards all right so let's put it like this guys if you want to see the best card to make the one you should make make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel here uh, I appreciate all support recently we're almost at 20,600 subs so I appreciate that a lot but uh, let's get into it right now so of course the event just came out yesterday and uh yeah, I'm going to go over all the cards. So, mainly the MSPs, of course, but I'll dabble in to some of the event cards here as well. So, here are the MSPs. You got the Cam Talbot, the Bennington, Hughes, McCarr, Anderson, Poljarvi, Giroux, and Crosby. Then you also have the event cards, which is Lemieux, Kachuk, Salo, Ekblad, Zetterberg, Grimson, McCarty, Kemper, Boychuk, McDonough, Suter, and LaRock. So, those are some... Some decent cards right there. So definitely uh, I'm going to rank them right now for you guys. Let's go into the collection. I'm going to go stat by stat, ability by ability to really help you understand which one you should choose if you can only make one. If you can make one at all. Some people can't make any. So here we go. So starting off with the first card on the collection list, it's Sidney Crosby, 91 overall edition. So Crosby has a gladiator or thief option or light the lamp or buzzing. So buzzing can get his speed up to 91 as well. But... He has 90 Excel, 90 speed as it stands. His shots 91 across the board, 89 faceoffs, 5'11", 200 pounds. So he's got great hands, 94 deking. Uh, his superstar ability is back at you, which is ability enables player to reverse hit opponents, maximize damage, and retain balance. Chance to knock opponent off balance is greatly increased, so it could be a pretty good defensive card as well, as funny as that sounds for Crosby. Uh, then you have the zone ability of Magnetic, which is exceptional skill at picking up pucks at speed, corralling, bouncer rolling pucks, and reeling in less than ideal passes. So if you, like, make a really crazy pass at Crosby, still, he's reeling to pick it up if you have this active. So it could be very, very uh, important, you know? It could be very, very important to have that active on this Crosby card, but... In general, Crosby is very, very good. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare Crosby and Drew. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically tell you which 91 you should choose of, of these. Okay. So now looking at Claude Drew's 91 overall. So he has Protector or Booming Shot. So it helps with Shot Out or Gladiator or Well Rounded. Okay. Then he has a tape of tape superstar ability, which is advanced power and accuracy on all passes within vision. Passes will also auto saucer when necessary. Then you have the 1T zone ability, which is 10 ability points, which is quite a bit. But exceptional power and accuracy on one-timers greatly increases ability to one-time less than ideal passes. So, again, another one that's kind of similar to Crosby in terms of, like, you can really pass something kind of like a bad pass and make it still get a good shot off or pick up the puck. So, um, definitely a good one. It's definitely a good zone ability, but 10 points is definitely very, very costly. But now the difference between Crosby and Drew is if you look at his Excel and his speed, he's got 92 Excel, 92 speed. Even if Crosby does have buzzing active, still one speed slower. Same height, uh, Crosby's about 15 pounds heavier, which, you know, how important is that? I don't think it's incredibly important. Drew's deking's at 96. So that's also very, very good. And Tape of Tape is a nice one. It's only three ability points as well. Back Hatch is also similar, but, you know, when it comes to the only three points. But Giroux has 94 face-offs. So Drew has, Drew's faster, has a better shot, better face-offs. And I, I would say synergies are almost probably better. Booming Shock can make a shot even better. So if you're choosing between Crosby and Giroux, I go with Giroux. I really think Giroux is the best one to select here. Of all the MSPs overall, if you're going to make these MSPs, I personally think that you should make Giroux. I, I really do think so. And if you don't make Giroux, I think it's going to be a regrettable decision. I, I really do. So Claude Giroux, 91 overall edition is probably the best one. But I'm going to definitely still talk about the other cards and which ones you can potentially still make as well. But, uh, but between Giroux and Crosby and, I mean, Giroux and anyone else, I'd, I'd make Giroux, right? Anyway, let's move on to the next one. So, Rasmus Anderson, 6'1", 214 uh, D-man, with buzzing, gets up to 90 speed, actually. 89 Excel, 95 Agility, 92 uh, Balance, 92 Endurance, 82, 92, 83, and 92 for his shot. Uh, it's either buzzing or wingman, so that can help his Excel out, or Light the Lamp and Magician. He has the Heat Seeker ability, which is advanced power when taking wrist slash snapshots from distance. So it can help create a lot more like, you know, juicy rebounds, stuff like that. 
So, you know, nice little uh, ability. Then he has a Bouncer one, which Bouncer is actually a really, really good one. It's a very good zone ability. It only costs four ability points, but also it's exceptional at battles around the net. Greatly increases stability, stick tension, and limb strength around the net. Opposing players take longer to recover from net battles as well. So, in general, it's kind of like a cheat code, this zone ability. You can really affect the game in a lot of different areas. So, uh, yeah, I really think it's a very, very card, very, very good card to have. I mean, there's a lot of good D-man options here uh, for this MSP, for these MSPs, I'd say. So, yeah, I mean, I, I like him a lot. Anderson's a pretty good option. Then you have Jesse Pugliarvi, uh, who's 6'4", 201. He's got 90 Excel and 90 speed, a 6'4", 201 forward. That's extremely, extremely good. So, and he has an 89, 91, 90, 91 shot. So, that could be a very solid card that you could even have on your team for definitely a couple of months at least. I mean... I heard people say that like, these cards are not that good. They're not going to be on your team for long. Well, first of all, Poyarvi won't really get a higher card for a while. The Crosby one I get because he has an X Factor, but even Drew, because it's not like Drew has like a high rated card yet. Drew, literally, I think still is only 83 overall as his high card. So Drew won't be getting to 91 for like at least a couple months. So uh, that MSP should be still very, very valuable. But Poyarvi has Well Rounded or Bombarded or Gladiator and Protector. Uh, he has the superstar ability of tape to tape. A lot of these guys have tape to tape, so that's the same thing with Jeru. Uh, his own ability is unstoppable force, so that's exceptional strength with a puck and a greatly increased ability to hold onto the puck when off balance. So hard to knock him off the puck, which is definitely always important. We all know that. Still very, very important. So, uh, yeah, I mean, great winger, I'd say. 6'4", 201. I would say, I'm going to go as far as saying that this would be the next card I would make probably after after Crosby and Drew, okay? The thing is, like, you might say, wow, like, maybe Crosby's not good because of his X-Factor, but if you don't have his X-Factor card, Crosby's really good still. So, my logic, my logic is make this card if you can't make Drew or Crosby, like, you can't afford to, or, like, whatever card you have is my logic, but uh, in general, I think that uh, this is a very, very good card. So, Let's move on to the next card, and that's Quinn Hughes, and he's another really, really exceptional card who's very fast. 92 Excel, 92 Speed, 86, 88, 86, and 88 for his shot. He has Booming Shot as well, uh, or Light the Lamp, or Gladiator and Protector. So his uh, superstar ability is Seeing Eye, which is advanced accuracy on shots when the goalie is screened. So that can nice, nice shots from the point can uh, really fool the goalie and you get a lot of tips or just other in general just good shots here towards the net and it can really create a lot of good opportunities to score then his own ability is spinorama so if you want to do a lot of spins you can pass out of it and shoot and it'll be a lot more efficient with this active so quinn Yu is a very very good skater in real life very very good skater in hut so really really cool card so uh yeah 86 88 86 and 80 for his shot uh 510 170 yeah it's a little bit sketchy but Quinn Hughes is a good card. I have his base card right now, and I definitely like it a lot. I consider making this card, definitely. But, you know, again, I'm not sure how many I want to make for this event, so that's really what it comes down to as well. Uh, Quinn Hughes is a good one, though. Quinn Hughes is a good one. Then you have Kale McCarr, 87 overall edition, 5'11", 187, Gladiator, or Bombarded, or Protector, and Applesauce. Funny, funny name. I can't get over that still. He has 92 Excel, 92 Speed. Same thing as Quinn Hughes, 5'11", 187. So, uh, 86, 88, 85, and 87 for the shot. Uh, again, Makar. I, I talk about this guy all the time. He's just so, so good. I love Kyle Makar's card in the game this year. So, definitely would be a really, really good one to make. If you don't have his MSP, if you don't have his MSP, you should try to make Makar, I would think. But, I mean, it's up to you. It depends. If you have his X Factor card, well, then there's no need. That's for sure. But, I think Kyle Makar is one of the better ones. Uh, definitely, if I was going to choose between him and Hughes, I would choose him. I would. I mean, it's righty-lefty, though. And I was going to choose between Makar and Anderson, I would still take Makar. He has Make It Snap, as a superstar ability, and In Reverse, which I can't read that unless I got a magnifying glass or a zoom in, a zoom in ability on my video editing software. But uh, in general, yeah, Makar is uh, definitely the best team, man, I'd say. Uh, from this event, in my opinion, you know, you can argue Anderson because of his uh, abilities, but I still wouldn't go that far. It's a little bit of a reach. Then you have the two goaltenders, which is Bennington, 6'1, 174 with distributor and fly the zone. Thief is the other one, and then he has X ray as an ability, and zone ability as last stand, which is exceptional. Boost and reaction time and save ability on breakaways and penalty shots, which again, not that important unless you're giving up a lot of breakaways or you're facing a lot of penalty shots for whatever reason. If, if that's the case, you probably stop giving up breakaways and stop taking penalties, especially penalty shots. But 
in general. Goalies, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of making. I don't think goalies are very smart to make his aggression 75. Making goalies is always a very, very risky proposition, and I definitely don't re recommend it to you uh, to do often unless it's like a, you know, so obvious you should make it like a bishop or, a, you know, even Markstrom, I would say, is always usually good. Uh, then the other goalie, of course, is Cam Talbot, and he's the one that's more intriguing. He's 6'4", 196. He has fly the zone or spark, and booming shots is other synergy. Superstar ability is no timer, which is advanced save ability and reaction when facing one timers, which again, one timers are uh, definitely a very common goal score in this game still. Zone ability is whirlwind, which is, provides a considerable energy boost for all skaters on the team, which one is not really that important. I wouldn't really activate this one if you had Tal, but I don't think it's that important. 72 aggression, so lower aggression as well than the Bennington. If I was going to choose between the two goalies, I would definitely go with Cam Talbot, though. Cam Talbot definitely is the better goalie uh, from these MSP cards. He's an inch, he's like three inches taller, uh, weighs more, plus uh, he has better synergies, I'd say. Uh, they're actually kind of similar. They both have fly. There's no, yeah, it's kind of probably Benetton has better synergies technically. But uh, either way, I would say that Talbot would be the, the goal to make if you're going to make one. But I wouldn't go too crazy. And then looking at some of these other other event cards, I mean, honestly, Claude Lemieux is not that bad. Six foot two fifteen, fly the zone, eighty eight speed. I should say it's pretty good. I, I really do think so. So Claude Lemieux, uh, eighty eight speed is not bad with a you know pretty mid shot, but not bad either. So. Uh, I definitely think Lemieux's good. Zetterberg's also very good. A very underrated one. 87 Excel, 87 speed, 87, 88, 87, and 87 for his shot. Zetterberg definitely is a good one to consider making for sure. Definitely like him. Uh, and then Kemper could be intriguing as well. 6'5", 215 goalie, 73 aggression. Kemper, I know it was really good for me back in NHL 20, I want to say. So definitely, it just depends, you know. It, it just simply depends exactly uh you know what you're looking for in a goalie and he's probably not going to cost you too much either so that's what makes it a little bit more intriguing and more valuable but so the other ones are definitely not worth it, like boy chuck these aren't really cards that i'd be getting excited for uh mccarty these aren't at plants okay i mean but I, I wouldn't go crazy for him Salos, i think a bit too slow yeah not, nothing really insane about him but uh basically if i had to rank them like really quickly i would make drew first if, if, if you could i, I would make okay Main Drew and Crosby might be crazy because you don't want to want to make two 91s because it costs you a lot. Uh, I would probably make Drew and either Poliarvi or Drew and Makar if you don't have his X Factor. Uh, after that, then it just kind of gets you know all opinion based and how you feel. Uh, I, I think that they're all good. I mean, there's really not like many bad MSPs. I'd say I think Drew's the best one. I think Makar is the best D man. Uh, Pugliarvi is, is only, the only winger, like, you know what I mean? Like, not really, like, he can't play center, that's for sure. Drew and Crosby obviously can, but it all depends what you feel, you know? I mean, Drew, Pugliarvi are good options. Hughes not bad either. I don't know, they're all really good, but I would definitely make Drew first, if you're gonna make one, and then either Pugliarvi or Makar, or maybe make Pugliarvi and Makar. I mean, listen, you don't have to make a 91 at all, but, uh, if you're not gonna make any 91s, I'd make sure you definitely go after... Maybe, you know, Hughes and Makar, because they're really, really fast. It could be a really sick pair to use. Or Pugliarvi and, like, Makar. I know not everybody can make these, because they're pretty expensive for people that aren't, like, free to play. I get it. Uh, I definitely understand your pain. So, uh, on PlayStation, I, don't, I, I definitely spend money on Xbox, but not on PlayStation, so I understand that. But that's pretty much it, though, guys. Uh, that's that's what I think. Uh, hopefully, you, it helps you out. Hopefully, you decide, helps you help decide better you know who you might want who you want to make but if you guys enjoyed this video though please leave a like subscribe and do the channel here follow me on twitch henrik instagram twitter tiktok henrik and three e's and join the discord to talk to me follow the subscribers of the channel as always i'll see you all in the next video